We've had 30 organisations involved across the last two to three years. We've had to really pull on individual skills within those organisations at certain times and, and having people buy in to the vision that we are trying to deliver at Langarth and deliver the planning application that you know, we successfully got over the line last December. It couldn't have been done without people working in, in partnership and, and keen to muck in as part of the team really. Without the experience from all the different backgrounds, all the different teams, I don't think that you can deliver such a big project of such a huge scale. Um, we have different um, different people working from all sorts of backgrounds in construction, architecture, master planning, and without that, I don't think that you can deliver such a big project. We've been very closely working together, um, and therefore anything happens, anything that might change, we immediately jump in to help each other, and therefore got the project through and got a successful planning outcome. In previous projects you can be quite distant, this one we've been very, very close and being close together allows you to share kind of problems, ideas and generate a kind of positive solution for the whole project. I think it's been a successful partnership on a number of different ways. It's been a successful partnership of a sort of range of multidisciplinary companies and consultancy teams and also the council as well as a partner which I think has been critical to its success and it's also been successful in delivering a partnership with the local community, a lot of community engagement, a lot of involvement and not just sort of tick box community engagement, actually listening and changing things in response to that. To the point where we, by the time we got to a planning committee, we didn't actually have any objections from the local parish council or the local city council joining the city council, which for a scheme of this size is, is tantamount to the, uh, the sort of ability and, and the skills that went into that. Being able to work with um, you know, other disciplines, um, helping to get that design a good design in place has is, is been, uh, yeah, it's been really good. I think having the Building with Nature principles has really made sure that all those key elements are delivered and because they consider across water, well-being and wildlife, it's also made sure that all of those elements are embedded rather than just one, for example, biodiversity being concentrated on. It's something we aim for in all projects, um, but this one has been a really good one, especially because of the scale of it, obviously being nearly 3,500 homes and a city extension for Truro. It's been absolutely essential for our client to get it right. Um, so actually having the Building Nature principles to help guide us has been a really important part. It's been really good and the, um, the communication has been excellent and also because we're a local company we've been able to spend plenty of time on site which obviously for ecology is really important as well. We've worked across a whole range of stakeholders and partners um, most importantly with the community and the local councils to represent their views in the formation of the master plan that went forward uh, to the planning um, application that was heard in December. What the council was wanting to do was make sure that it came up with a, a balanced and rounded set of proposals and it, it just couldn't do that alone. It had to involve uh, the communities around it and that local knowledge. I'm absolutely convinced that the product that we, we now have is far better, far more balanced and far more deliverable than it would have been otherwise.